just arrived at Hastings on this train, just come down from Charing Cross. Today we're going to do an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. We're going to go to the Hastings Miniature Railway. I've never been to this Miniature Railway before, so I'm very excited. It's been a while since I last went to one. The last one I went to was the Ashford Miniature Railway. Oh, the wind's getting up. And um, there's been a lot of mainline steam, various other things lately. So, it's, so I haven't been to a Miniature Railway since then, so I'm really quite excited to be going to one. But before we go to the Miniature Railway, I'll just bring you down here on the platform and show you the station still has a working signal box and it still has 74 signals, which is really nice. The sun's coming out, just wish the wind would die down. So we're going to go out of the station. So if you go to London, you go that way, then you'd um, turn left. Sorry, turn right, St Leonard's head north up through Battle. And uh, that way it's looking towards Ashford. I've never been on the track beyond there, so that's probably a journey for another day. Although that said, I'm tempted I might walk to War and um, and get the train that's coming in now. That would have started at Or. That's probably going to London Victoria, so that will go along to Eastbourne. It will reverse and then from Eastbourne go up the Brighton line. So that might be my journey home. So here we have the South Eastern Class 375s and the Southern Class 377. I'm going to go and uh, make my way out the station, go down to the seafront and find this miniature railway. So here we are inside the ticket hall at Hastings Railway Station. It's a modern glass building. It was built in 2004. It's a shame in a way. I mean, I don't mind this building, but it replaced an Art Deco building that was built in the 1930s. There's still similar station buildings like it at Margate, if you have a look at this picture. So it looked a bit like that, but not quite the same. It was um, an octagonal station building, so that was demolished, and they replaced it with this one. Anyway, now let's um, go outside the station, and um, we're not getting on a bus, because it's not that far. We are going to walk to the Hastings Miniature Railway, which must be probably about five to 10 minutes walk in that direction. So let's go and find the Hastings Miniature Railway. It is really, really windy, so I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to shout as loud as I can. But in front of me there, there's the miniature railway. Up there is a funicular railway. There is another funicular railway somewhere over there that goes up to the castle. I've been told that one's closed today, so it's a video for another day. We're going to go and do the castle, so we'll come back one day. Right now, let's go and have a ride on the Hastings. I'm very excited about this. It's the bridge gauge railway. I've not been on it before, so I thought we'd go there purchase my ticket and um, go for a ride up to the other end of the line.
big American loco, so I enjoyed my trip behind that. I will uh, put in some line side shots. My plan is there's a steam loco out, so we'll have to have a, a ride on the steam loco, and I'm going to try and do the other locos. While we're here, though, I thought I'd show you. So we came through the tunnel, and that's also one of their sheds. There is a funicular railway, so you know, it's running. It'd be a bit rude not to have a go on that. It's uh, really quite an interesting place here. So, apart from the wind, that's the only thing. Um, very windy, but other than that, it's um, really interesting. So, one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cross the road and I'm going to go up the East Hill lift or funicular and see the views we get when we get to the top. So here we are on the funicular railway. I think it possibly is the steepest funicular in the UK. I mean, look at that. It's, well, very steep. And we're going up. I'm going to go to this end so we can see the view as we go, as we ascend, get the view out over the sea. And we should see the railway and the miniature railway just down there. I can just see the station and the lights playing about. We'll have a look when we get to the top. Let's. Um, See the other one coming down. There it is. So the other one's descending as we ascend. Look at that, that's like, it's like almost looking vertically down. I know it's not vertical, but it's uh, making my legs go a little bit jelly. And I'm not normally someone who has a problem with heights, but yeah, it feels like we're going up really high. At least though in here, we can see the view. I can talk without having to worry about the wind because it was windy down there. I reckon it's going to be really windy when we get outside, so um, well, we're about to find out. I've never been up here before, so I don't really know quite what I'm going to find, but uh, no doubt we're going to get some good views. Here you go. Thank you very much. And as I predicted, it's really windy, so that's the station. Thank you. Thank you. So it's not too bad out here. Let's have a look down. I think down there is the old says Hastings Country Station, yes, yeah, bit better. Although we can't see much, the head shelves the wind. The station down at the other end of Hastings, Miniature Railway is named after this rock, which we are up on. And now we're back down on the ground. It's probably still windy, but probably not going to seem quite as windy as it was up there. But I had a little walk around the top, but it got even windier the higher up the hill I went. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of quite glad to be back down, although I did enjoy the views. There is a fisherman's museum here, which um, is very mission free, so I thought we might go and have a look. And I can see the steam loco is still on shed, so my plan is to travel back on the steam loco. It's quite interesting seeing all these boats, so let's just go and see what this fisherman museum is about. It seems to be not to. It's like an old chapel again, what formerly the fisherman's church, you can see information here. So um, let's go inside and have a look. inside the Fisherman's Museum. As I said, it's inside the former Fisherman's Chapel. It does seem really strange seeing a boat in a church. It must be the only church I've ever come across to have a boat inside, and it's certainly the only boat I've ever come across inside the church. So it's quite an interesting museum. You've got a lot of um, models of boats and um, information on you know, marine um, wildlife and what they'd have caught. Here's some models of some of the fish and crabs they would have caught. Let's just have a look through here. That's interesting there, is a, a model of where we are. So it's the funicular we've just been on. Miniature railway running along there. And uh, that must be the church that we're inside. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there. That's the church that we're currently inside. So it's um, quite interesting little museum. You know, if you do come and visit the Miniature Railway, do come and have a look in this museum. I'm not going to go through all of the artefacts because um, I don't know too much about fishing, but I can. It's very interesting to see, and you know what? If you come here yourself, you can do that. Then. So, what we'll do now, we'll go and have a look. Probably the most exciting thing about this museum is to go up onto this boat. So, we'll go up here, these steps. 
and um, we shall board the boat. And it does feel really, really strange being on a boat. Firstly, being on a boat and not in water. But being on the boat in the middle of a church. Like I said, is this the only church to have a boat inside it? I think it probably is, but I might be wrong. If you know of a church with a boat inside, then do comment and tell me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out back to the miniature railway and um, have a ride back to the other end. So we're back outside the Fisherman's Church, the Fisherman's Museum. We walk through these boats to where we will see the miniature railway again. And then, as I said, I'm going to have my ride back. So as we come to here, clearly it says Hastings Miniature Railway. There's a rather big diesel loco here, which I quite like. It's called Uncle Jim. It's like a mainline diesel, it's got a cab at each end. And here's their turntable. So it's kind of not a train here at the moment, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for a train to take us back. So let's go for a walk round, see what we can see before we head back. So to give you an idea of just how close the funicular is, it's literally there. Oh look, and there's the train. The train coming out of the tunnel. It's quite cool how the tunnel affects the building and the train goes through the building. I don't think it's quite unique, but it's certainly unusual. Not many miniature railways do that, but that's what makes miniature railways to me so interesting. They're also different. You never quite know what you're going to see when you go to a miniature railway. And if I'm right, I think I just heard the So maybe the steam logo is about to go.
I've had a few trips up and down the Hastings Miniature Railway. I've had four locos for haulage, so it's been a great day. This is one of the drivers here. This is Nick. This is Nick, how long have you been a driver here at the Hastings Miniature Railway? So yeah, six years I've been driving here. Yeah, yeah, six years. What's your favourite loco out of all the ones we have at Hastings? Yeah, I've got two favourite locos. I've got um, Gov and um, Jerry Lee. Uh, Jerry Lee's not here at the moment. He's oh. over at um, Rockley. That one's on the list. And that's that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We're so, going to Rockley and stuff. Fingers before. crossed you get to see that one as well. She's a 47 um, class intercity livery. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of my favourite locos. Yeah. yeah, haven't seen it since the first lockdown. So hopefully it'll be coming back this year. And I'll be seeing it again. Well no doubt then I will see it either here. Come, I'll come here again. Yeah. Or, or at Rockley because Rockley's on the list. That's it. Yeah. And I understand you've got a YouTube channel, haven't you? Do you want to plug yes, that uh, while yes, you're on so, camera? Um, Nick's Railway Mads on YouTube. Um, so if you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe. I'll be really happy for you too. And um, yeah, thank you. Link on screen to Nick's channel now. So, well, thank you very much, Nick. Thank you. Had a great time here. I'll probably get the train back down to the other end of the line. Then time for me to get back to London. All right, thank you very much. Well, I've had a great time here at Hastings. Just had my last ride of the day behind what I think is possibly the biggest ten and a quarter inch cage loco. The other one at the other end, Uncle Jim, I think might be slightly longer, but this this is a real beast of a loco. I really like it. I love how you know it blasts its horn. It's got a real sort of American feel to it. So as the loco's turned, the loco's going to work a train back. It's just starting to rain. I'm going to make my way back to. Um, Hastings station to catch the train. So, uh, it's been been a great afternoon. So if you're down this way, do come in the Hastings Miniature Railway, have a trip on the Cliff Railway, and um, we'll come to Hastings again because there is another miniature railway in Hastings. So we'll come and do that in the future. So yeah. from Hastings Miniature Railway, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, <laughs> and comment. As the driver, hooting a goodbye. And from Hastings Miniature Railway, I'm going to say goodbye.